Well, hi everyone. This is my first attempt at making a video. My name's Elmar, and uh, I have a lot to say. Uh, I don't know where to start, but uh, let's start with uh, my history. I was born on September 12th, 1959, to two immigrant parents originally from Estonia. During the war, um, Estonians were allied with Germans, not the Nazis, but with German people. And uh, I don't know much about their story other than uh, both of them were in Germany for a period of time. My mother was in what's known as a DP camp, displaced persons camp. And my father, and this is interesting, he was a machinist working for Germany, and I've often wondered what was he making. Because um, neither one of them wanted to come to Canada. But why they did is because the poisonous Soviets, the Russians at the time, and uh, after the war, the uh, three leaders, Germany, England, and the USA, divided Europe up. They gave part of Europe to the Russians, and the rest to England and America. Anyway, my parents, uh, their country, Estonia, was taken over by Russia. And this communism is nothing but the biggest cancer on this planet, in my opinion, because my parents were immensely damaged because of it. It was awful. One night, I guess, 50,000 Estonians disappeared. They were put in boxcars and sent to Siberia to be never heard from again. I mean, this is just an example of the horrors my parents went through. My mother, neither, like I said, neither one of them wanted to come here, but my father really hated it, and once he got here, he had built up a lot of the Nazi point of view. The only good, good races were Estonians, Finlanders, and of course Germans. So that Nazism, this cancer, had impacted my, both my parents were damaged badly. And consequently, <laughs> I came along. And uh, it wasn't easy, to say the least. My mother was very, very controlling. It was her way. And she just nagged at my father all the time. Elmar needs this, Elmar needs that, Elmar, 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 Elmar. So my father learned very early to basically despise me. And unfortunately, this is the way it, it just progressed. Um, I'm not going to get into too much of the abuse that happened at home, but uh, what I can tell you is it was pretty horrendous at the time. I was terrified. And I never understood what it was about, when, why. And then I started kindergarten. My first language was Estonian, by the way. And uh, I, I learned some English, I guess, playing with other kids. But that was my you know, that was my second language was English. So things were difficult. I was. I consider that I have big ears, but a lot of other people don't think so. But anyway, I had a lot of problems. I was bullied from day one. Not by the kids in kindergarten. It was the grade twos, grade threes. I remember being bullied right on the schoolyard, and there would be teachers there, and they didn't do nothing. And this just progressed and progressed and progressed. So, you know, I, I wasn't even able to walk from my parents' house, which was like two blocks from the school, um, you know, without being, you know, some gang of kids jumping me on the way to school, leaving school, 
And this was hard. My mother, I, I became my real mama's boy. I had my father worked in a bush camp. I would see him for, you know, for a weekend, every two weeks. First it was every week, and then it became every two weeks. So I had no idea who this man was. And uh, I just felt very uncomfortable. He never really talked to me. We never really developed a relationship. So anyway, you need to understand that I am not blaming my parents. People aren't born dysfunctional. It's because of experiences in our life that we become dysfunctional. Imagine, my, my mom was beautiful. There's pictures of her on my Facebook site that just, she was, and, and like I said, she was in a DP camp. And I have no idea what secrets that she carried. But I can imagine that, um, and I know this for a fact, that when kids, especially when they're sexually abused later on, because they had no control over the abuse and being violated, a lot of them became very controlling. And the psychology behind that is I couldn't control that type of horrible stuff as a kid or a teenager or even as an adult. But I can control me and my environment. And that's how it goes. Anyway, my, parent, my dad, my father, Edward, um, yeah, he, uh, my aunt, uh, well, let's back up a bit. I have an aunt, or had an aunt, who lived in Nova Scotia. My mom originally was living with her in Nova Scotia, and uh, my father was living here in Thunder Bay. And um, he had, he bought a house. He paid it off in five years. And I might add now that what he hated about Canada and Canadians, and eventually me, is because we all are manipulated by live now, pay later. It's hard to see my eyes. I'll have to change the lighting. Anyway, live now, pay later. And he, he lived till almost 101. In all those years, he never paid a dime of interest. And I didn't, neither did my mother even though she had a Neaton's credit card. It was always paid off at the end of the month. And my father, who I had a very difficult relationship right up until he died, said, if you want something, you work, you save money, and then you buy it. Period. And it goes for even his house. He didn't get a mortgage from the bank. Originally the house, big three-story house, and um, it was uh, owned, it was uh, where the minister from Knox United Church, so it was property of Knox United Church, it, it, the minister used to live there, and they were selling the house, and uh, my father basically got a loan, and it was basically one of these handshake deals. I will give you this much for this period of time, and that's it. And he did. And he paid off that house in five years. Three-story brick house. Imagine that. He bought it in, uh, I believe it was either 50 or 55. And maybe that was it. He bought it in 50, and it was paid off in 55. Then he had the house. He was smart. He had it all rented out to his co-workers. Pretty much every square inch of it, somebody was sleeping there. That was their place. I don't know how many. Probably nine or ten. This is how he paid his house so. off. Anyway, uh, I don't know. This is my first attempt at making a little video. So I may have to redo this. I'm just holding on to my phone right now. Don't even know if I can upload this, but... Anyway, I've been going for about 10 minutes. I'll tell you more. But uh, I'm going to stop here. 
and tell you a little bit more about growing up with two damaged parents because of World War II and communism and fascism. And I'll just leave it at that.